so I was thinking about how we're supposed to be avoiding the city, you know, staying home and how we can actually create and animate our own city inside of After Effects. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to this channel. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you everyone for watching this video. We got a really fun tutorial today. So this is a basic city animation. This is called an isometric city. But if you've never heard of the word isometric, it's essentially a really quick way to create a 3D look with your 2D graphics. And you're essentially gonna be looking at three sides of an object. So that's what we're doing here. It is really easy to do this stuff and it will be a quick tutorial. So let's jump into our tutorial. Let's get started. All right, so the first piece of software that we have to take a look at is Adobe Illustrator and get our hands on an isometric city. Of course, if you watch our videos, you know I'm gonna get this from freepix.com because it's free and I wanna give you guys something to follow along with. So I will link this in the description and there's, I don't know, millions of free vector objects on this website. So you can type in isometric city and you can, you know, choose a handful from this website, download it, and then bring that file into Adobe Illustrator. All right, so this is the vector object we'll be using, and I'm gonna run through this really quick because we've done this process a lot of times on this channel. So what you wanna do is you wanna find your layers panel right here inside of Adobe Illustrator and just turn off anything that you don't need. And we can just delete these. Okay, so then what we can do is open up our objects and you can start kind of going through everything in the layers here and kind of see where things are at and remove anything you don't need. And we'll open this group and just continue to get rid of things and understand the project file. And it's really easy to do this. You just get an initial look at everything. All right, so the big thing is we need to be able to put everything that we want to animate into its own layer right here in Illustrator. So what we can do is create several layers here. Actually, we'll create a handful of them. And since everything is in this group right here, we select you know anything on here, everything is selected. So what we need to do is go to Object and click on Ungroup. And depending on your project file, you might have to click that a few times. But the goal is, is to be able to click one thing and be able to select it. So we'll do it one more time, ungroup, click off, and see if we can uh, grab this bus, which we can. That's awesome. So we can grab the entire bus by itself. And you can see it's highlighted right here uh, inside the objects. And we can just bring both those layers into a new layer, and boom. It's basically in its own layer right here in Illustrator, which we'll be able to animate inside of After Effects. So we'll continue to do that. We grab like this car here and we'll put it into its new layer. And of course, another technique you could do is when you select something, you can right click it, go to arrange and bring to front. So then you see it's right at the top and you just bring it to a new layer. So you're gonna wanna do that for everything. So you wanna grab a building, bring it into its new layer. So this means you will be able to animate this inside of After Effects. So when you're done, you'll have everything in its own separate layer right here in Illustrator. And we have about 20 layers here in Illustrator that we will be able to animate in After Effects. And when you're ready to move over to After Effects to animate all your separate objects, go to File, Save As. So now that we have our isometric city ready to go to animate inside of After Effects, we can kind of go and create our own city and animate it. So let's do it. All right, so when you have After Effects loaded up, all you have to do is bring that Illustrator file right into your project window right here in After Effects. And just import it as composition, layer size, click OK. All right, we'll open up the composition that was created and we'll go up to composition, composition settings, and we'll make it 1920 by 1080. And I say composition a lot. And we just call this, you know, main or tut, whatever. And there's our little isometric city that we've imported. Now, we gotta do a little bit of stuff. Now, before we animate this, you can see it's really small. So you can't just come here and scale it up, right? Because look at that, big problem. So what we need to do is quite simple. We'll go to layer, new, null object. You'll grab everything and parent it to the null object. Then you can just hit S on your keyboard for scale and you can scale it up. Now the new problem that's gonna arise is that it looks pixelated. Okay, no problem. There is this vector icon right here in the middle. You just kind of turn those on. It's called continuously rasterize. And boom, you have all the fidelity of that object that you imported. So every layer is not gonna pixelate, which is awesome. So now we can talk about some design elements and then we can animate. So, you know, you might wanna bring in a background, so it's like layer, new, solid, and we'll just call it background. We'll just have something here just to look at, but it's underneath everything. And now let's talk about animating. So I separated the cars that we're gonna animate from the buildings. And I like to animate our buildings first, but what I wanna do here is grab the pan behind tool and put our anchor points 
at the bottom of the buildings. This way, everything will animate from the bottom up, not like that. So we'll go ahead and do that. So if you want to move your anchor points and that's done, that's great. So what we'll do is grab all of our layers, like the buildings, we'll let S on our keyboard for scale, and we'll add a keyframe for them. And we'll move this keyframe forward in time. And then at the beginning of your timeline, we'll set our scale down to 0%. And then we'll move forward to like between the middle of these keyframes and bring the scale percent above 100%. And this will create a quick overshoot animation. And let's come here and select our last keyframes, make them easy ease keyframes by hitting F9 and make the first keyframes easy ease keyframes. So now we'll have this nice quick and overshoot animation for our buildings. And that's really cool. And then obviously we can offset each of these layers in time randomly. This way there'll be some just variance. Uh, in this so really cool. So now we have our buildings animating in here and that is really awesome And now I want to talk about maybe animating some of these cars on the road Which is really easy to do so we can grab like a car layer like this uh, Van back here we hit peer and keyboard for position and add a keyframe for it move forward to the end of your uh, Composition or however long you want this to be and you can just move the car down the road So now you'll have a nice little car animation and that's really awesome, right? So we can quickly do this for everything else so now we have all of our buildings and our cars animating in our isometric city and we're almost done here to complete this animation. Obviously you might want to animate on the full board and everything else with it. So we'll do this really quick. So what we can do is take all of our car layers that we didn't animate in and our main background here which will be in the objects window. You see we turn that off and we can just go to layer pre-compose and we'll just call it chessboard. I don't know. A little bit spicy today you know maybe we hear what we do is hit r on keyboard for rotation and hit shift s for scale and we like keyframe for both of these move them forward just by a little bit and we can set the scale down to zero percent and we can rotate this and make them easy easy keyframes and now we've been able to put together this really quick isometric city animation and it is a really easy tutorial to do this anytime i do multi-layered animations with vector objects i always want to give a shout out to animation composer because this is an extension right here inside of after effects with 1000 plus motion presets that will save you hours of time depending on how long your project is so what we can do here is select all the layers that we want to animate and we can go through our folders of a thousand motion presets and find an animation preset that works and every preset gives you a preview before you apply it and when you find something that you like, what you can do is just apply it as in, and you can also apply it as an out animation. Then we come here to more tools, go to transition shifter, and we can stagger our layers by, you know, five frames and click on do. And just within like, you know, 30 seconds worth of work, we're able to animate in our entire scene and we can apply this as an animation out. So I highly recommend taking a look at Animation Composer for your projects. There's a thousand motion presets. There's also another pack with a thousand text presets. And these packs will save you a ridiculous amount of time over the years of doing animation. And it obviously will help you produce amazing animation work. So if you want to check out all these motion presets for Animation Composer right here in After Effects, I will drop that link in the description. Do pick up anything. You will be supporting our channel, so thank you. So that concludes our isometric city tutorial. I hope you found this helpful. And remember, there's many ways that you can implement these techniques for other types of projects. So always be thinking about how you can apply these concepts to your future projects. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.